Alright, hello people, and in today's video, I am gonna show you how I am gonna make this stern section stand up vertically in the lake. Now, the breakup was successful the second time around. The funnel got beat up completely, but uh, yeah. The four tower is now retired, and this thing is gonna get scrapped, so uh, yeah. Now, after the first physics defying stunt, which took two tries, I'm gonna go to the next physics defying stunt, and I'm gonna show you how that works right now. Okay, so this is a simple sketch I made a few minutes ago to show how uh, I plan this to work. So, first of all, we have the stern section with a lever sticking out and a watertight wall in the stern. Here we have M equals VAR, and that basically means that the mass it means the weight of the stern is a variable which I don't currently know. I still have to weigh the stern, so yeah. And we have a canister glued to this lever thing right here. And the canister says mass var plus two kilos, which basically means the weight inside the canister or canister is gonna weigh two kilos more than the stern section. So yeah. So basically the plan is that the canister itself is going to be buoyant, but with a lot of weight in it. And that means the stern will kind of be at an angle, but it's not going to be going vertical. So, um, that means we have a couple of flooding holes here, which will actually negate the buoyancy and make sure that the stern does indeed go vertical. So if everything goes to plan, we will have a star section standing up vertically like this, but only in the lake, which is going to be fun. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. I hope you understood my explanations on how this is supposed to work. And yeah, if everything goes well, the next shooting day is going to be next week, next Saturday. I don't know which date that is. I'll probably put that on the screen right now. But yeah. Wish me luck, and I will hopefully see you in the next video. Bye-bye.